Anyway, go ahead, Anthony. Uh, reve- uh, revenge. <laughs> Attack of the Clones. Hoo-hoo. Attack of the Clones. <laughs> I, still ha- <laughs> I still haven't seen that. You haven't seen that yet? No. I won't ruin anything for you. No, I'm not going to give away storylines. Oh, boy. What, what, the thing is, with a prequel, it? you can't ruin it because exactly. you know what? Yeah. Freak is going to happen anyway. Uh, I, I, I couldn't stand how it was cast. Uh, I, that, that kid that's playing Anakin now is like a Dawson's Creek reject. Ooh. You don't need that. You need just some guy in there, some kid in there to to, to play the part. And that was a beast. That, like he was, his acting first of all wasn't even good. And then he uh, comes off like a, a WB series actor. A lousy. I'm trying to do that love thing yeah. with him and uh, Senator Amidala now. It's not a little Portman, a little queen anymore. Yeah, Natalie Portman, who besides uh, being uh, very flat chested, she had a pretty good bod in there. When they're tied up in that arena and she's got the white pants we on. We have topless shots. Nice ass. We have topless shots of her on uh, FoundryMusic.com. They're not. Oh, that, how about that? They're not that small. Maybe they were squished pretty good she's in that white some, uh, I, shirt of hers. She's got some nice bees. All right. Some full bees. It didn't look that way squished in the shirt. But she had a nice ass on her when her arms were above her head and she's hanging from that pole. Ooh. Hanging from the pole. And then uh, where uh, Lucas could have come across and helped out with uh, the way it was ruined uh, the first uh, episode that they just uh, did. What the hell was that one called? Uh, the Phantom Menace. Oh, yeah. When it was because that was a kid movie. You know, you call it what you want. It was a kid movie. Ooh, look, I'm racing in a speeder. A little kid. The pod. They could have made this different. They could have made it a little more hard edge by showing uh, Anakin uh, really getting into the dark side. But they kind of glaze over it. At one point, his mom, uh, some episode with his mom, I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of things, but he uh, he got very angry and went to take revenge on some people. And the revenge was like nothing. A couple of swings of a lightsaber, he goes back to uh, uh, Amidala there and, and says, oh, I did this and that, and tells how awful it was, what he did to people. Show it, first of all. Show him losing his mind. That's kind Show of... him lo- going, oh, Wait, now this explains it. Okay, yeah, now I see kinda, why yeah. he turns out to be Darth Vader exactly. and kills the story yeah, millions and millions and millions of people. But no, they glaze over it because, oh, they want to keep the cute Dawson's yep. Creek friggin' uh, uh, marketability of the action figures. Make it dark, make it evil the way it's supposed to be. The effects were great. I'll give them that. Man, when you see the Yoda in this, and then you go back and look at that god-awful puppet in the first one. <laughs> oh, my God. It's all CGI, and his face is moving, his eyebrows and everything. And then you look at the the first uh, trilogy they did with that stupid puppet. It's like a Muppet. Yeah, trying to walk on the cane. And, oh. yeah, and then he's walking on his cane, and then two seconds later, he's kicking ass with a lightsaber. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> little Yoda. Little Yoda flying up in the air with a lightsaber. The effects were good. Uh, Storyline eh, left me with well, nothing. Well, you know what? You know what? Uh, we got to stop you there. I mean, the, the effects in every movie that comes out today is good. Sure. Yeah, they but have it was, figured that out. It, you know something? The computer has really figured that out. The Phantom Menace, yeah. I was kind of, eh, you know, except for the pod really? race thing. The pod race was really cool. For the rest of it, was like, eh, I don't like the Mercury ships all the time. I think they and had, the, first, the that one, the Phantom Menace, was all that like sleek, shiny ship thing. Right. They, like the ones at the end when they're pulling off the planet. The they have figured out the special cruisers. effects. They they need more stories now. Better yeah. stories in the movies. Mm-hmm. But so you didn't like? Uh, it was it was. I didn't leave with any like wow that was really cool or anything. You know it didn't really do much. I'm I'm counting on the next one now, which in order for for uh, remember the first one that they made which was actually episode four. You know in order for the galaxy that they're in to be in that bad a shape Mm -hmm. where now the Empire rules everything, the Jedi are pretty much wiped out, and the Rebellion is just a small little mass of people. Something really bad has to happen in this third installment. Has to. It can't be this happy movie. It turns out, if you look at the goddamn uh, first one they did, you know? He'll F it up somehow. True. Yeah. Yeah. He'll he'll make it cute and cuddly. Make it cute. Uh, now, after the third one, is he going to uh, redo the other ones? No. The rumor there is... There will it? be redo it with new actors and everything. Hmm. I'm thinking Sam, uh, Samuel uh, Jackson there. Samuel L. Jackson? Doing a little uh, Darth Vader. I don't know. 
Indiana Jones oh, that's 4. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's Jesus true. Yeah, Christ. that was announced what? that oh, there will stop. be an Indiana Jones 4. Oh, stop. Why would you go to see Star Wars? Lucas has not done a good movie. And, and After The Empire Strikes Back, I didn't like anything. Because it's Star right. Wars. You know, Jim, shut up. I wouldn't go. Jim, because go. it's Star Wars. Did you go Star see Wars. The Phantom Menace? See. No. So how do you know it sucks? Because everyone I've talked to who I respect said <laughs> it stunk. It's not like you got to mortgage your house and spend six years watching it. It's a, it's, it's a few bucks. You lay it down a couple of hours to, you know, continue the story. Dude, I respect your opinion, but George Jesus. Lucas, first of all, he has a worse chin than about, I do. How can you talk about a movie you never saw? <laughs> because it's, look, I've also I'm never allowed. stuck my... I'll, 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 I'll listen to other critics I'll, to begin with. All right. I never stuck my mule in a toaster, but I know it's not pleasant. <laughs> oh, all right. There you go. <laughs> a lot of, you don't have to do any... Uh, I mean, if, if 50 people said it stunk and it was cutesy, then I'm going to say, okay. Yeah. If one guy I heard over talking What have you heard of uh, Jar Jar Binks? He's horrible. And he, yes. The only thing I want to see is because he really annoyed some people because they thought it was like a stereotype. So that I kind of respect. <laughs> but it was typical, you know, coddling to stupid kids with a little cute puppy. That's animal. what I don't like. I don't like the I'm idea sick. that it's a kiddie movie. I agree. <laughs> Bunch of kids. Ugh. Love you, Ben. Love you, Steve. Vinny, what's up? <laughs> hey, Anthony, how could you say that she didn't have a rack and she was flat-chested in that movie, man? When she was wearing the tight shirt, she looked good. It didn't look like she had much. That's all I'm saying. I don't. I, I didn't say she did or didn't, but it was very. they were very pushed in. Yeah, they were pushed in, but especially in that battle scene at the end when she got her shirt ripped off and uh, ripped her in uh, half. And she looked good. And did you catch that other part in the movie, too? I'm giving her the ass. What are you talking about? And oh, the not... ass looked good. And the boobs look good. But what about that other part in the movie? You're not going to do this, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a shot. Good day, guys. All right. He was trying to get me, Alfie. I sensed it. I used the force. <laughs> <Here's> the force. <laughs> How come no one can use a force and sense that this film is going to suck before they go see it? <laughs> Oh, it wasn't cutesy. bad. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm saying it just wasn't this big good thing. How do you not? I'm banking on, on the Darth third Vader. one. How do you not? That's the best. One of the best villains ever in right. films. Right. And so far, we got a cute kid, little kid on his pod racer, and now we got this Dawson's Creek reject who's whining. Yeah, whining at every turn. Hey, man, hey, Obi-Wan doesn't believe in me. I can beep, 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 shut up and kill a lot of things. That's what he should be doing. He's at, he's at that vulnerable stage where it's going to affect his whole mind and turn him into this Darth Vader thing. And nothing, nothing but a whining little brat with a very gay ponytail. Yeah. Kind of ponytail? Oh, this braid thing that's so annoying. Yeah. How did he get so fat for Return of the Jedi and bald? <laughs> that was that awful. You are the Duke of New York. You are a number one. That stunk. So when did you give up on movies? I don't. I didn't give this up guy, on films, dude. I hate. No, most of you haven't garbage. seen. A, you haven't seen yeah. a new movie in I would say five years. And you know what? Everyone. I do. But, I'm on the but when line. it comes to old movies, I mean, everyone hears it on this radio show. He, he, he's got the right. You had to give up at some point. You had like, to give up watching movies because you you could quote uh, JFK uh, until you're blue in the face. I love a lot of guys. all the Another, mob it was movies. A good film with Harvey Keitel. Um. <laughs> well, what was the last, what was the last movie you saw? I think I think we asked him this already. I don't remember. Uh, I read it's been a long time. Uh, right? Memento was all right. I, I see him in, in hotels on pay per view Spectrovision. When I'm on the road, man, I'm not paying to watch this crap. I'm tired of films sucking. I'm tired of Hollywood being PC and pandering to soccer mom C's and stupid kids. So I won't support it. They're garbage. He's got a point there, Anthony. But I'll still hey, what's pay. What's up, guys? No, 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 I just, all I just right. look. They're garbage. All right, Did Anthony. You hear me? Yeah, go ahead. I was saying, the worst thing about Star Wars is not anything in the movie. It's those stupid previews for, like, Disney, Lilo, and Stitch, and that little <laughs> Bow Wow movie, Be Like Mike. <laughs> it was, Bow wow. I heard that Matrix 2 was supposed to be the preview, and I got to see this. I'm all excited. I need to see this garbage for Lilo and Stitch. I saw that, too. The reviews uh, during the Spider-Man uh, movie uh, were just horrendous, you, except was, for the Hulk. You know, you know they're going to mess that movie up. I don't know. know. If they do Everything. like Spider-Man, you never know. Later, guys. All right. Later, man. You know what I can't stand in the movie theater? They're showing the previews, right? You're just sitting through this awful, embarrassing trailer that you just it's either unfunny or stupid and then it, it's done and it goes very dark and very quiet in the theater until they get the next trailer going and you hear someone go oh i got to see that <laughs> you just want to reach out and go what? what what is your iq yeah here's how i knew i hated films uh, after yeah. a while i was working at a gig in wildwood years ago with my buddies john and, and this dude buddy 
So we go to see uh, uh what's the what's the stupid John uh, enough with John Grisham and the stupid lawyer movie. What was the one he wrote with Sandra Bullock? A uh, Time to Kill. Yes, yes, okay. And I saw that and I was so angry watching this movie. I honestly this is true. I can picture him being angry it was watching a movie. Garbage. I almost started booing in the theater, but there was a guy there with his kids and I didn't want to ruin it. I'm like, Yeah, the guy's right. taking his kids out, don't be a scumbag. As soon as the movie is over, I go, that stunk. And I'm yelling at them, like, how bad was that in the middle of the theater? And they're like, dude, we thought it was great. And I'm like, you should both be stricken with cancer. <laughs> I don't want to go to the movies anymore. Have it you was ever horrible flop. Have you ever walked out on a movie? Mm. A movie's got to be really bad for me to, to I walked out. I don't know if out. I ever have, to be honest, because I go to so I, few. I walked out of one in my whole life. I forgot the name, though. It was I the, almost walked Kim, out of White uh, Chicks Incorporated, and I was in that. The Kim Basinger <laughs> uh, movie, uh, cool, was it Cool World? Cool, cool World, oh, the right? cartoon yeah. thing. That thing was, that was yeah. the only movie I've ever walked out of. You know what I walked out on? So I remember this one. Like, I, I can't even be bothered. Mr. Mike's Mondo Video. Remember that? That guy uh, the, from uh, Saturday Night Live? Years ago, he put out a movie. Didn't he? Well, was, he did uh, all the Mr. Bill and all that. No. Yeah, yeah. That was that guy. Right. Okay. And he had a whole movie full of just crap. And, I mean, it's got to be bad when you're, you're at the 35-cent theater for the Stone People in Northport. Remember that theater? Yeah. we had Dude, a 35-cent theater, man. We, we had a, yeah, we had a theater in Northport. It went up a penny every year. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And then it, it, uh, I think the year was like 1980, and like, oh, man, it's only 80 cents. We can't give up on this thing. Yeah. And then they, they jacked it up to regular prices, I think. But you walked in there, and the, the, the pot cloud that was in the place, they, they would just allow you to smoke pot and drink, and it was so well, awful, it was even a, Stone, I believe. It was a hangout. Yeah, it, it was nothing. It had nothing to do with the movies they showed at that place. Yeah, they would show they stunk. like they showed like stripes and stuff. I mean, great movies, but like twenty years after the fact. <laughs> you had to walk out and walk into something else. Right, but you walked out well, on that. You could do that. Yeah, that was horrid. Yeah, with the multiplex, you know, yeah. you walk out of one movie, you walk into another. Titanic might be the last thing I went and saw in the theater. I don't remember. Did you enjoy it? I went only to see the effects on a big screen. Yeah, you know what? I will go see Spider-Man. You know but what? No, I didn't enjoy it. It made me sick. Really? It's so easy to to just say it's, it was a bad. That was a good movie. Man. Titanic. The yeah, dialogue good. at the end. No, it was. It was to me. It was. It was no, no, no. Don't talk about the parts and the dialogue. No, no. Any time. I think in to... general is a good movie. It was hokey. Yes. Any time. And it's so easy to say, oh, what a faggy movie. But the special effects. And You're right. The effects were good. But here's what I resent. And, and what's her name's uh, uh, boobs? Kate Winslet. Her boobs. I don't remember them. I don't remember them. When uh, Leo there was uh, doing his little drawing? Yeah, she was slumming. It wasn't romantic. She was a whore the, cheating on her fiancé. Oh, oh, I understand. Uh, the, the scene wanted to make you puke, but the fact that uh, you get to see her boobs. I love right. you, Jack. Uh, shut your face. <laughs> uh, no, I don't like any type of film that tries to yank it. That's why I hated Gump in the theater. Like, I love you. She dies of AIDS. Oh, shut up. Cuckoo's yeah, Nest made me that cry. That was thing. a tragic, sad film. They're not yeah. trying to force it out of you. And that movie came out when? 75. He <laughs> swept the Oscars as it should have. But Jesus. Poor Pacino. He did, I think it was Dog Day Afternoon that year, and he should have won. But Is that the last movie Nicholson. that you thought was good? No, no. What was the last movie you thought was good? Last movie that you saw in the Titanic theater that you really thought was good. I don't remember, man. It's been so many years. Dude. I saw Jaws in the theater. I'm old, man. I don't remember. I when really don't. Star Wars is on the theater. Oh, you didn't see Memento in the theater? No, I saw it on pay-per-view. It was very good, though. That was a great movie. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. A little weird, but I enjoyed it. Mm. Don't you go see the comedies? No. Ugh, no. They're never funny. <laughs> Ugh. And you know what's funny? Used cars. You don't think like... Oh, oh I enjoyed that. Frank McRae was a right, great comic Right, very actor. dark. You don't, you don't uh, check out the Austin Powers? Never saw it. Wow. Oh, oh, God. Why not? I don't hey, want it's to. kind of funny. I'm There's something about funny. Mary? Half of that I saw in That I didn't find funny. I would. You didn't find that? No. I didn't like something about Mary. I love no. that movie. I uh, no, I buy a lot. Meet of the parents. I enjoyed that. I, yeah. I saw that on pay per view. It made me laugh. I love De Niro in that. It's great. Yeah. He's there. You know, little little something for the bride and groom. God bless. That was. Like, <laughs> God <laughs> bless. That God was bless. Really funny. Yeah. So no, I don't go. They're gar- and Look, after 1980, when they gave uh, the Oscar went to uh, Ordinary People for Best Picture and Redford for Best Director, instead of Scorsese and Raging Bull, I'm like, you know what? Oh. It's not worth doing. Oh, to without it. a doubt, Raging Bull should have won that year. Of course it should have. That was a great movie. Of course. I Watching forgot about Tyler that. Moore Lose Her Mind was pretty good in that movie, though. It was a Ordinary great film. People, yeah. And I, I think I actually hate to say it, but I think that Hutton deserved Best Supporting Actor over Pesci, mm-hmm. which he got. But come on, Raging Scott. Bull. Come on, Scott. Raging Bull. Scott wants to say something to Jim. I know he's gonna yell at me. Go ahead, Scott. Scott. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Yeah, first of all, I walked out on Orange County. That was like the worst movie I ever saw. Yeah, we heard that. (laughs) And uh, we heard that after uh, Jack and Colin were in. uh, Right, we're in here. We know those guys, so we can just call them Jack and Colin. (laughs) 
Oh, I got you. <laughs> and, just, uh, I've never been more surprised than to hear Jim Norton say he was disappointed when the girl died of AIDS. Yeah, you're disappointed in, in an AIDS death? What's wrong with you? No, no, no. You're no, not no, feeling no. good? I, no, no, because that, that got turned, a fever? to me, that turned it into a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys suck. Take it easy. All right. Uh, Jim? I think they use that. Oh, Schindler's God. Schindler's List, I thought so was bad. amazing. I saw that in the tips. I love that. Yeah? Yes. Another great comedy. Private it, Ryan started good and then sucked. What oh. did you think sucked about it? Everything after the war stuff. Really? Stopped. I didn't care about any of it. I didn't care. I love the war stuff. That's was pretty great. good. The sniper up there doing his little prayers and stuff as he's blowing German heads off. Maybe so, okay, so That was shoot, pretty good. The war stuff I thought was War stuff, well, very good. But the walking around, I got to bring Raj. Shut it. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> About it. Love you, Kev. Love you, Rick. <laughs> You're so excited to be back on the radio. I know. Look at you. All week, you know, walking around with stupid Bob Kelly, buying things. This is how I knew I had to get back on. We're in a store, Delphinium, where there's nothing but homosexuals. And Bob goes, dude, have you used that candle holder I bought you? And I'm like, I really need to get back oh on the radio. Oh, my God. I really, take it out. Let me just put it in my mouth and get it over. Because <laughs> he bought me a little thing. A little thing for my apartment where he holds five little tea candles. Wait, wait, five. Five little tea candles, and, and what is it? A it's, little. It's, it's shaped like. What this. is it made out of? It's made out of wood. It's, it's made of wood. One, two, three, four, oh. five. And it's like. This I've, high. See, I've seen these. Yeah. And it's, is it some kind of polished, colored wood? Uh, black polished wood. Yes. And it's probably about a foot long and, and two inches high. Sure, it is. Five little holes. Three simple words. I am gay. We need, we need a better version and of that. And it happened good. I'm glad it was fuzzy because that was insulting and not appropriate. <laughs> um, love you, Ben. Love you, Ope. <laughs> 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 <And there> was... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I agree. I've seen and those. there's five little candles, and Bob's like, have you used those candle things I bought you? And I'm like, I just, uh, this nice. is disgusting. Have you been to Bed, Bath, and Beyond yet so for your own place? Not only do I do a bit you, in my act about that. I was going to say. I was going to say. Friend, music fair, uh, 7th of September. Uh, Dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I'm um, yes, I do. I have. I spent uh, yeah. a little over a thousand dollars in there in two days. I could just picture you wheeling that Bed Bath and Beyond cart through you, the aisle. You haven't. I need a fluffy little pillow. Throw and, it in the cart. And you haven't seen Jim Norton on stage in the last eight months. He does a ten-minute bit on that. You don't know what a faggot I've turned into with shopping. Oh, oh, I swear to God, I almost bought a sconce. From an urban outfitter. Ah! <laughs> I was looking for sconces. I don't even know. I, I don't even know what a sconce is. It sounds like what it is it? Sounds like the scab an HIV positive person that gets on their yam bag. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yeah. But it's not. It's a little thing that you put on your wall. A and, wall sconce. Oh, of course, a wall sconce. Anything and what else goes in there? A little candle. A little candle. A little tea candle. <laughs> I like candles. I like a that wall vibe. Scone. What do you want it to look like? Dracula's house? I don't know. Just get a fruity little faggot. Put a torch in there. No, I didn't say, I didn't say I, I needed candelabras. I, <laughs> I want little scones. Is it wrought iron? Um, Is it made of wrought iron? You know what? I really should be bludgeoned to death like Chandra Levy in a park. Because I did buy, and my little leotard should be found tied up next to me. With some yummy uh, liquid in there. Yes, but no bone stuff, so they believe it was used to be tied. Uh, I think they found some oh, did they? some juices. Yeah, so Jimmy, wall I do, have, I do have wrought iron candle holders. You have wrought iron candle they're, holders. They're the floor type. Walk this way. <laughs> you are making this place up. He is so... Preoccupied with decorating his apartment, it's so amazing. Where I used to live. But it's amazing. I don't, I don't see you as that kind of guy with the decoration. Did you get a dust ruffle for your bed? What? Do you a have what? a dust ruffle? Well, a bed skirt. It's a dust ruffle. You got a bed skirt. You got a bed skirt. I certainly did. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, I certainly did. He's very angry. We even you need have. a bed skirt. It's, I, I, didn't I love macho men that are, are that are being faggy. That I'm they, not macho. They, I'm they, a, they, 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 they have to sell it to you like, I certainly I did. I certainly did because like, I'm a man. Like, that's a normal thing, and why don't you it have one? It is a normal thing. I, I, a bed skirt? Yeah, dude. Here's a, 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 you need I'm, a bed skirt or else the dust <laughs> collects under the bed. By the way, hanging out with my family in the last week, they yeah. love the, uh, the dice bit. Dice Home Decorating. Home Decorating. Love. One of their well, favorite bits lately. Keith Robinson almost punched me in the face for saying to him that I have to go, let's go down, i got to get a bed skirt, we were on the road. And I was, thought it was when you called him a nigger. No. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> what? He did? I have right. never, ever said that when he's been in the room. Ever. <laughs> oh, my God. No, we were on the, we were on the, uh, I didn't say that, Keith. We were on the, <laughs> that was awful. Come Not, on. 
Love you, Aunt. Love you, keep the cuff. Oh, my. What, uh, get we, back to his uh, bed skirt before we take a break. We were on the road, and I said, I got to get a bed skirt. And he told me. Why do you need a bed skirt? You just so get, a, I gotta, you just get a, a comforter that kind of hangs all the way to the floor. I'll touch no. your hair until you cry. <laughs> it was the, the bed is high, and I need yeah. a skirt. It just makes it look good. And chicks like it. Because you know why? The legs that hold your bed up. It's unsightly when and you walk the, into the, the room because it's so stuff. high up. And, do you have and a, the mattress is so big. Yes? Do you have a bed skirt? I call it a dust ruffle. Oh, <laughs> it goes, sounds um, cute. It fits and it matches, uh, you know, the rest of the motif. What do you have, manly man? A bunch of go-bots on the bottom of your bed? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have uh, on your bed? I, oh, uh, I have one of these things. I just didn't know what it was ah, called. Ah, see? But I didn't buy it. What would you think it was? Oh, like I went out and, and got it? Under. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that went out and bought it was you. So what? What am I supposed to do? Shoplift it? I went and bought it. So what? I'm a man. I don't need to... Hope he goes with the blankie. <laughs> no, I put my blankie. I threw mine in the garbage because the the stupid uh, double tape they they give you there or whatever to stick double it on tape. With double tape. What kind of cheap? I don't know. Stuff for you buying, Opie. I don't, Opie. I don't know what it is, but double tape. It it doesn't stay uh, stuck to the bottom of the bed, so I threw the whole no, thing out. No, it's elastic and it goes over the, like the box spring. Oh, I got. Right. Then and and got... then your mattress. Boy, what a huh. surprise. We got the cheap one. Yeah, what'd you do? Staple it to the side of the bed? It's supposed to go under the entire mattress. I bet you bought regular sheets and they only come halfway down your mattress, too. <laughs> Did you buy deep pocket sheets? <laughs> I don't know what you it need is. the deep pocket what sheets the hell is for the deep pocket Well, if you get a good mattress that is like a foot or a oh, foot and right. a half tall, the regular sheets that are only about eight inches. Uh, it doesn't fit down the sides, Opie. Dude, I... So you need the deep pockets. It's at least a foot... It's, it's like sleeping on Voss below the waist, about a <laughs> foot high. Just a foot high. Opie, what's the thread count on your sheets? <laughs> I don't know. Mine is... I, I got the sateens. Oh, you got the sateens. Yes. What the hell happened? You gotta have a high thread count. You do. Or else it's cheap sheets. Yeah. Cheap sheets are bad. I They're actually, bad. Oh, and I had to buy two duvets. <laughs> <laughs> What? All right, now, all right. All right, now you've lost it. I have no idea what a duvet I'll, I'll admit, is. Do. I'll admit I know what a, a bed skirt is. I, I don't know what a scounce is. And what, a, a, a what? scounce, not a scounce. I'm it's not French for a... Uh. <laughs> a scounce is I don't George playing scouts. Caroline's this weekend, by the oh, way. Oh, nice. What is a duvet, a duvet that you needed two of? I'll tell you what I have. I have a, my bed, I have a sheet. And a nice big fluffy comforter. That's all. Duvet is a comforter cover, so you don't have to wash your stupid comforter. And I oh, I just called it a comforter cover. Well, that's because again, I have a duvet. I'm classy. Of course you do. I'm oh my a duvet. goodness! All right, I got a duvet too. Doesn't matter what. Ah, uh, see, we all. I didn't even know I had a duvet. I didn't know what it was called. You can call. Love you, Mary. Love you, Earl. You can call <laughs> it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. A duvet. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 calling it a a, a, v, a v, but it's really a C, and I'm putting it in my mouth. It doesn't matter what you call it. I have a duvet. Yes, I do. Uh, and you're proud. And I have I, I have a I have a stain on it. It looks oh, like somebody God. took a, 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 a melted marshmallow and threw it on my duvet. <laughs> I, I, I had to buy another one because I'm like, eh, you put bad. a sea stain on your duvet. Not in, I didn't put it there. It just happened to land there. I'm sorry, I can't aim. Do you have uh, anything uh, satin? Do you have satin sheets? No, I, w I would have gotten them. I don't know why I didn't. It's too expensive, man. You know satin. what? With a comforter, too, too slippery. If you have a comforter that is also satin and satin sheets, the second. It is not equal on either side. Like, the second is one inch <laughs> more comforter hanging over the bed than on the other side. This weird physics lesson happens, <laughs> and the entire comforter will waterfall off oh, your right. bed. It's amazing. Do you have satin? You, if you, uh, yeah, but we barely use them anymore. Because uh, I got be, a new duvet. Must be nice on your little red burned skin. Little ah, skin you know, satin. you just kind of get up a little and let your yam bag rub on it. Feels good. Feels leaves. like you're wearing giant panties. It's wonderful. Without that good smell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean on your thing? I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> I we... put them over the old head. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jimmy. I love you, Big Kev. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> no, that's a good point. You're right. No, you're right. You're right. I agree. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. All right. Well, that was a good fag hour, wasn't it? We sure fagged it up that hour, Jimmy. Yeah, we got to take a break. Um, Jimmy Duvet.